everybody just being excited for me and just happy for me. How much did you hear from back home? And then, uh, was that kind of response? Um, it was a lot. Just everybody just being happy for me, just being very excited for me. Do you like the extra attention? Uh, no, not really. <laughs> How does this offense manage tempo? I feel like last game we we didn't manage it the way that we wanted to. We wanted to, we wanted to go fast, and I feel like last game we were a little slow with it. And I and I think this week that's where our focus is is getting our tempo right. Is it because y'all operate better faster, or is it something y'all want to try to do defensively or better? Oh, um, I would say it just that's game planning. Depending on who you playing, some teams handle the tempo well, some don't. And I mean that's just us. Our style of play is kind of fast. How do you kind of square that with Coach Saban wanting to control the ball and, and give the defense a little bit of help? Well, I mean, it like I said, it depends on who we're playing. And so, like, if they're a team that plays fast too, he'll tell us kind of, like, to slow it down and give defense a little breather. But then again, you don't always just want to sit up there and just play the game slow. You want to use the speed of the offense to, to your position. Have y'all heard that from him yet to control the ball and slow it down sometimes? Yeah, there's been games where he, he's told us that it's been drives and then there's been some drives he like, we want to go fast now. Does the offense change when it has to go slower? No, it's just everything just slows down. With so many playmakers, though, even if you are trying to just kind of have short gains down the field and control the clock, you guys have shown you can score from 60, 70, 80 yards out, even if it's just a short little throw. So how does that kind of factor into the offense controlling the clock? Um, like the coaches tell us, they're not going to teach us how to be runners. So what we do with the ball in our hands, they're not going to coach that. So they just feel like if we catch something short and we take it, that that's what they want. I mean, nobody wants to just catch the ball and just be like, okay, I'm going to go down right here. What are you going to be doing uh, on Saturday? Are you going to be watching football or are you going to be what's, what's your plan? Watch football, sit in the house. What do you do to get away from football? Do you all, do you all just kind of go out and What's the procedure? Uh, most of the time it's just sitting in the house playing the game for real. A lot of us like to play Madden, 2K. So, I mean, just sitting in the house playing the game, watching football. So you don't really get away from it at all? No, not really. Coach, talk about, like, usually the off weeks are kind of individual evaluations. They, they go through kind of what you've done to this point. What are some things that you've discussed with the coaching staff that you need to improve on and maybe even the whole uh, receiving court as a whole? Um, for me personally, getting my hands inside on blocks, I got two holding penalties this year. So, I mean, that's that's my biggest concern is just getting my hands inside on blocks. And just sometimes just not being too smart. Sometimes I am I feel like I know something and I'm just too smart. So I feel like, okay, I know what's going to happen. So like, and I try to take a playoff. So just knowing that even when I do know what's going on, just still do, do my job. Just with plays, well, and you just know where you just know where the ball is going, so you feel like okay, I know where it's going. So, but like you shouldn't do that. You should always just play the same way as if the ball is in your hand. Is there a, a, a sense of like having a rhythm where you kind of wish you were playing in this week instead of having a bye week after having a game like you had Saturday? Well, I mean, nobody want. I was bye weeks are good, but then again, I mean, you want to play football, so I mean, like now it's like wow, Saturday come, I don't have a game, like. I don't never have time like this to myself, so like, yeah, I'm gonna sit inside, play the game and stuff, but I mean, I'd rather be out there playing football. Is, are these, obviously, most seasons you only have the one. Is it nice kind of knowing, okay, we can break the season up a little bit in the maybe quadrants or whatever like that, knowing, okay, we got five here, we'll have another bye in a couple of weeks after that. You know, is that nice knowing that you can take a little break every once in a while? I wouldn't necessarily call it a break because at the end of the day, you're still here and you're working, but. It's, it's good for your body, give your body time to recover. Your best three games have come against the Power 5 opponents. Just uh, Do you find that they kind of shade towards the other receivers, or are they giving you the equal attention on defense? I feel it's just the game plan. The, whatever coach calls, it, the ball just happens to find us. So, I mean, we just go by the game plan that he has planned, and we just execute. They were talking during the broadcast about how you guys got in an argument during practice about who's the best blocker. Who's the best blocker? Um, we was actually talking about that the other day about who's the best blocker. And right now, everybody said I'm in the lead right now. But I feel like last week, 
Judy and Rose kind of got up there with me with the blocks that they had on a couple of my plays. So I feel like it'll be out of them two for right now. How is it that, I mean, it, it just, everyone always talks about, you know, you have to block downfield, but you guys seem to take it to another level as a group. Just what's the key to that? Just what you do with the, when the ball is not in your hand. I mean, everybody, of course, when you see somebody else get the ball, you want them to take it to the house just like you trying. So, I mean, you know that they're there for you when you got it. So you're going to be there for them when they have it. What was uh, film study like you know, for you watching uh, kind of all the plays? Were, were you getting a little grief from some of the other guys that uh, maybe didn't have as much success on Saturday? Uh, yeah, like you just you have your laughs and your jokes and things like that. I mean, film is film. So when you do watch it, it's pretty much the same every week. You know when the play is coming. And when it comes, you just be like, that's crazy. Have you guys given Tyro Shavers a hard time about that missed uh, blunt punt that he dropped the end zone? <laughs> Something like that. We just <laughs> Shave just always just Shave's a person that's always like he wants to be perfect. And just like when he did that, we was just like it was there and like you just let it happen. But it was just funny, but at the end of the day we all were happy that no matter who it was that we just got the turnover we scored. Given the success that you, Jerry, and Henry have had so far, especially scoring the ball, how much has uh, Jalen been kind of chopping up a bit to get, get himself a couple? Well, we all know that any time it can be anybody. So him right now, he's doing a good job of just knowing, like, my time's going to come and just being patient. So, like, he looks at it like it's going to come when it's meant for me, it's meant for me, and he understands that, and he handles it well. Last two questions. With the style of offense you run that does end the score so quickly, do you think there's any consideration to maybe scaling it back, or is it just going to stay the same where you're kind of featuring you guys in the same way? Um. I said that's kind of based on the game plan, but then again, you never know what's going to happen because it can be something short and we just take it. So you just have to wait to it happen to really see. How has you know, Jalen's attitude been you know, this year? Maybe he hasn't had as much success as he had this time last year. Um, I feel it's been good because I feel like he understands because last year it was he got he got more into it, but at the beginning it was kind of like – it was kind of like this at the beginning, so I feel like he, he understands it and he knows like his time is going to come. So, I mean, and he's seen that last year at any moment, anything happening, now is your time. So, I feel like he understands that and he's handling it well. Thank you. Thank you.